RealWatch Shine Wi-Fi Monitoring Module, Adopt Client Plus Server Structure, Terminal Port is via wireless connection and server platform, can be accessed by mobile phone, panel computer, desktop computer, wherever it has internet connection. With the platform, the system realizes data browsing, parameter updating, remote controlling, etc. In this video, we will have a brief introduction for the installation, configuration, and its troubleshooting. Worldwide Wi-Fi module can be used to monitor GrowWatt string inverters 1 kW to 5 kW, 3-phase inverters 7 kW to 20 kW, series inverters 33 kW to 40 kW, etc. It also can be used to monitor GrowWatt battery storage products, for example, SP2000. Wi-Fi module connects the inverter via RS-232 port and collect the data from the inverter. Then the module can access to GrowWatt Remote Shine Server via Internet Access Router. Users can access to Shine Server via smartphone, panel computer, and desktop computer. And the system realizes data browsing, remote monitoring, parameter updating, etc. Please measure the Wi-Fi signal strength at the location of installation. It must be more than two bars of Wi-Fi strength on smartphone. Tools we need to prepare cross screwdriver, flat screwdriver, smartphone, etc. Open the packing, take out monitoring module and accessories, screw back, user manual. Remove the RS232 cover at the bottom of the inverter. If there is a DIP switch next to the RS232 port, Please switch it to on position 1 and then plug in the module. Use the screw to securely attach the module to the inverter. If there is no DIP switch, please poke on the small rubber plug to remove it and then plug in the module. Use the screw to securely attach the module to the inverter. Scan the two-dimensional code on installation manual with a smartphone. It is also available in Google Store or App Store. Download Shine Phone software install it on the phone. Enable the smartphone's wireless network and connect it to the wireless router, which you would like to connect the Wi-Fi module to. Run Shine Phone on the mobile phone. Click Register. Select the country, city, and then fill in self-defined username and password, etc. Complete the registration. Please choose the correct country or region. Otherwise, the connection between the module and Shine server cannot be established. After registration successfully, Click the plus icon on the top right corner and then select Add Service. Fill in or scan the Wi-Fi module serial number and verification code. Then click Next button and go to Wi-Fi module's network configuration interface. Please check the router's ID, then fill in the router's access password. Please make sure your mobile is connected to this router. Click Configuration button, the module will attempt to establish network connection with the router. Under Wi-Fi module's key button, there are three LED indicators. Please check the LED color to verify the monitoring status. 1. Red light blinking. Shine Wi-Fi monitors the inverter. 2. Green light blinking. Shine Wi-Fi monitors the inverter and the router. 3. Blue light blinking. The connection from inverter to Shine server is established. The monitoring is working perfectly. The system's data collection interval is 5 minutes. If you are not able to see any data for a long time, please carefully check the LED status on the Shine Wi-Fi and check the connection between the inverter, the router, and the Shine server accordingly. Please pay attention to the following key points also. 1. When registering, you need to choose the right country or region. You cannot choose China. 2. If you are trying to use another account for a configuration, you need to delete the Shine Wi-Fi in your original account in order to add it to other account. 3. 
GrowWatch ODM Wi-Fi module cannot be registered on GrowWatch Shine server for monitoring. Four, if the connection is not stable, please check the Wi-Fi signal strength. Five, log in the router and go to its setting interface. Check whether the module has a merged on the router. The module's network ID on router is MT7681. Check the router's DHCP function has been enabled. Make sure the port 5279 isn't blocked on the router. Uh, six. Please unplug the plastic seal on the key button and use a small pole stretching in. Then press the key button for more than three seconds until the three color LEDs are always bright and then loose. This resets the Shine Wi-Fi. Try configuration again after resetting. Please note that you need to reset Shine Wi-Fi if you want the Shine Wi-Fi to connect to another router. Now. There are old version and new version of Shine Wi-Fi in the market. In this video, we are introducing the new version. Please note, the serial number of the old Shine Wi-Fi starts with AH. The Shine Wi-Fi of old version can only be configured via the web browser, such as Internet Explorer, on the computer or a mobile phone. It cannot be configured via Shine Phone. Please refer to its installation manual for more details. Wi-Fi monitoring data can be accessed via mobile application, Shine Phone, or via a computer. Logging Shine Phone, you can browse monitoring data and event listings, and, where required, update device parameters. Open the web browser in a visit website server, growwatt.com. Log in with a register account. On the home page, the dashboard displays data performance such as daily production, monthly production, annual production, total electricity production, total revenue, carbon dioxide emission reduction, etc. Click Plant. From left to right, we can check plain data, device listings, event listings, battery storage system status, plan details. Click Plant, then click Device List, and finally click Inverter or another type of device on the list. Double click on the device to browse detailed performance data measured over 5 minute intervals. Click Plant, then Event List, filling the device serial number. Select the date, click Search to check the device's historical event records. Click Plant, then click Device List, and finally click Inverter, or another type of device on the list, and then click the gear icon at the right. This opens the parameter setting interface. Choose a designated option, fill in the value, and then click Save. The web page will be fed back with a set successfully if it had been done. The monitoring system also has remote firmware upgrade function. Firmware is downloaded to the module firstly. Downloading process supports intermittent connection. Once the downloading is fully completed, the module executes the firmware upgrade.